Hi, welcome to Guitar Monk. I'm Alex Vans. I'm a music graduate from James Madison University. I live in Brooklyn, New York. I also play in a yacht rock band called Bad Business. Uh, that was one of my favorite solos. It was Rosanna by Toto. Hopefully over the next uh, couple of weeks we're going to build up to skills like that, learning things like finger independence, uh, alternate picking, hammer-ons, pull-offs, and bends to get you guys playing sweet electric guitar solos really soon. So first I'm going to give you a quick tip. Today's lesson is going to focus on how you position your left hand on the neck. Playing solo lead guitar, especially on electric, is all about using the larger muscles and not the smaller, finer muscles in your hand. Mm -hmm. Using these and stretching these too much will lead to a lot of injury and it will actually lead to a lot of inefficient playing. So when you want to play faster, when you want to play more complicated stuff, keeping these muscles from doing this and more moving with the shoulder is going to get you to play faster and more cleanly um, in a shorter period of time. So I want you to take your left hand, and at this point, if you're learning solo lead guitar, you probably already know a minor pentatonic scale. If you don't, I would look it up, look up the fingerings, but it's relatively simple. Uh, let's play A minor, which is on the fifth fret. Right, so you're going to start fifth fret with the first finger, and we're going to go five, B, five, seven, five, seven, five. Seven, five, eight, five, eight. And we can go back down. Eight, five, eight, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, eight, five. And as you get more skilled at this, and as you continue to repeat this starting slow and getting faster with a focus on moving the arm you'll be able to realize how much easier it is and how much faster you can actually play. Now, if you're not quite up ready for the challenge yet of uh, doing these scales and um, kind of building uh, to this lead guitar style, I would advise you to go for building your very basic skills and learn a systematic approach via the Guitar Monk CRP program. Again, thanks so much for paying attention and listening. And of course, I would advise you to go for building your foundations first and learn in a systematic way via Guitar Monk CRP program. See you again.